Hello and welcome to The Soundtest Room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is Gadget 2.0 and I'm using it on my iPhone 6. That's why right. it's now universal. And not only that, if you're a previous owner of Gadget, you can now download Gadget for iPhone for free. Core Gadget now have iPad Pro support too. There's a ton of new features in Core Gadget 2.0. And right now Gadget is on sale. So if you've ever wanted if you wanted it now might be the time to go get it I'm not telling you to go get it but if you want then it's half price right now now I could have used my iPad for making this video but I wanted to do it on iPhone because the first thing that comes to my mind is my god how fiddly could it be using gadget on an iPhone and I'll tell you right away it is kind of fiddly because the screen is very small but Korg has now added a zoom in and out function through pinching like like this, making it easier to edit on a smaller device. They have now also added a undo and redo function. Oh, I wanted it for so long and I know a lot of you wanted that too. You also have a one finger scroll mode, but you have to turn that on inside the settings. So if you go to the cogwheel and you press open in other settings and you go down here, then you can find one finger scroll. You turn that on, you go back to gadget, open the sequencer, Let's say you have zoomed in like this, and then you just scroll like that. You can also flip away the gadget by pressing this button right here. In landscape mode, it puts the sequencer window in full view. And when you flip up the gadget, it puts the gadget in full view. Now look at the mixer right here. Each channel now have an IFX button, and Korg has included a three band equalizer. And if you flip to page two, you also have access to a compressor that you can put on every track. Awesome. But that's not all. All polyphonic gadgets now have a chord function. So when you press scale down here, you can see a chord on and off button right there, meaning you can play chords. And when you switch it on, you can play chords using one button at a time. And the chords changes depending on what type of scale you're using. So let me just add that if you look at Berlin, for example, it's a monophonic synthesizer. That's why you can't find a chord function on it. You also have a built-in arpeggiator. And the arpeggiator works for every gadget. Another great thing is that Gadget now syncs to iCloud and that way you'll have access to your gadget tracks on all your devices. Go check out support.corguser.net to see a full list of everything that's been improved inside Gadget. Core Gadget 2.0 works from iOS 8 and upwards. Now I'm gonna be fingering this thoroughly. So go check out Core Gadget 2.0. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney and me, Yoko Bakke, to soundtestroom.com wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your surfaces and have a lot of fun. It's so hard finding the camera when it's lying like this. Yeah.